It's a lend a heart, lend a hand kind of a show today. Welcome to Date with Danu. It's going to be a Pete Wright reunion. As my first guest on the show, he's an entertainer, singer, radio presenter. Lots of things go under his name. I'm happy to have as my first guest, the one and only Asanka Sahabandhu. Hi, I'm Asanka Sahabandhu. I'm a broadcast professional. I also sing, produce music and uh, comedy events. Uh, I'm on a date with Danu. I think it's a fun show. He's had quite a lot of guests and uh, some interesting conversations and uh, fun moments. Uh, we also hope to have a few fun moments today. Ideally, I think Dano should have been a rugby player as opposed to a TV host or a radio personality because uh, he certainly has the height, the looks and the voice for it. Imagine him screaming in the pack. We have someone who has his style on point, Mr. Sahabandu. Hi. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Are your wife to become all normal now? No, no, no. I won't, ah, I won't be normal. The start of it, yeah. yeah. The start. Have just just warming into the show. <laughs> <laughs> um, how are you doing? I'm fine. I've uh, been working a lot lately with, uh, you know, radio and uh, since, since of late, we've uh, encountered uh, a bit of a bad patch with the entertainment industry. Yeah. So Not a patch, man. Quite a big hole. I know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So managing that at the moment. Yeah, it's, it's a bit of a tricky thing, no? Yes, it is. It is a very tricky thing. Now, um, Asanka Sahabandhu does a lot of things. Uh, you mm. have a remarkable voice. I really like your presence on stage. And I think, yeah. uh, so I always say, it's not about a great voice sometimes. It's about the artistic factor that comes with it, how you keep everyone mm. engaged. Showmanship is needed. Yes. When did you discover you had that little showmanship in you? Uh, I think as early as... I left school, I kind of had the knack of, you know, presenting things. Mm. I used to listen to a lot in of radio. In school were you? No, I, I don't think back in the day in college, they kind of inculcated these talents that we mm. had because the norm was for you to become a lawyer, doctor, accountant. Yeah. Were you like a flower pot in a play or anything like that? No. I, I did act in a couple of plays. Okay, actually. Shakespeare? Shakespeare. And, uh, with things that I never understood in terms of English. <laughs> um. Um, and kind of got into, you know, voicings and um, getting into radio, which was a bit of a tricky part, but finally it happened. Uh, I met another mutual friend who was hosting a radio show on another radio station who I happened to be singing my first song on stage with. Ah, okay. So she said, hey, why didn't you like to try radio? I'm like, yes, of course. So it was all just an accident? Absolutely. You never knew that your commanding voice could wake this country up? Uh, <laughs> or put them back to sleep? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I mean, it, it was purely a coincidence and I think that it kind of worked well for me. I think I'm one of the lucky ones. Mm. You know, There are a lot of people who have the same or even a better commanding voice and that talent to be on air. It's just yeah, But I always say it's personality. It yeah, always, I you know, you can, I suppose. Yeah, you can sound like a crow, but you don't. I'm <laughs> just saying you can sound like a crow, but yet if you, if you have the capacity to capture people and make them fall in love with, and also if you love what you do, it just transpires into all of that frequency. All right, so you do lots of things. Uh, singing. Hmm. When did you realize that you wanted to actually get into it on a yeah, I think level. as a, as any youngster we all want to sing no we all want yeah. to sing or we all want to play cricket not yeah. anymore um, that's because our mothers always say no beautiful voice put up beautiful yeah. it's always the mum or the or the grandmom who yeah. says until that until we step out and sing and we get stoned <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i started singing at a young a young age uh, i was never part of the choir in school mm. that too was again uh, completely out of my i was you know, a choir boy really what? Hallelujah! They don't sing Hallelujah. We sing. Yeah. Oh. I think I, I took part in one of the exercises or one of ah, the scales training and scales, and they are like, no, 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 not for you because you're moving, you're trying to dance while no, singing. No, so it was not yeah. for me. You have to open yeah. this way, this way, this yeah. way. Four fingers. Four fingers. So I said, 
this is not for me thank you very much but i did want to sing so any opportunity i had with the school talent show perhaps or like commerce day or mm. english literary drama society commerce day. day they wanted you to sing yeah we had different of good on there oh no yeah. not a lot of commerce going on you know <laughs> <laughs> Maybe uh, like uh, let's put something here. Yeah. yeah. So my intro said lend a heart, uh, lend a heart and lend a hand. Lend a hand. Yeah. So this is actually off our anthem, the Peter Wright anthem. So um, we have been bullied so much for the second line. Yeah. <laughs> It's really sad, <laughs> but anyway. Uh, as our gu- next guest on the show, I have someone who has graced many stages in motivating you, speaking about positive thinking. He has had a remarkable weight loss journey, and he's somehow keeping it. I really don't know how. I think he has bought smaller clothes, and he has to keep his body there. Um, a dear friend, and also a, a, a lot, a, a, a ball of talent put into one, Fahad Farooq. Hey guys, uh, I'm Fahad Farooq. I'm a certified transformative coach, as well as a trainer, a compere, and a speaker. Um, basically, I talk for a living, and I'm here to go on a date with Balu. So I think the show is Colombo's way of saying that you've kind of made it. So if you're on a date with Danu, uh, it either means that you're high on the vaccination list or that in some way or form you you've made it, I guess. So if you're here and if you've been here before, congratulations, man. I think Danu is uh, Sri Lanka's best representation of a Kardashian, I guess. Anybody who knows him would know that. Uh, nice guy, but sometimes too damn much. Extra, extra, extra. But uh, unbearably bearable, I think. There, there is, there is. Uh, anybody who knows Danu knows that he's moody and uh, that he, he, yeah, he's the Sri Lankan Kardashian, and everything about him complements that. Just look behind. <laughs> Fahad Farooq. It's not Farooq, right? Of course not. Is is your name Aina Sitambi? No, my name is Aina Sitambi. Yeah. There's no other way to say it. And But there's I'm no just other saying, way. is it Fahad Farooq or Farooq? I'll say it like this, right? Fahad Farooq. Because I say it like how he says it. I'm Fahad Farooq. Like, you know, you want to <laughs> sound... Hey, hey, hey. Ah, no, 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 no. I mean, I can't help that that's how it's supposed to be said. My name is Danu. A lot of people think it's Danu made Danu, but it's actually Danu. No, your name is not Danu. It is Danushtan. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just so, so that everybody knows. Yeah, I am of course okay with it. Dan- Danushtan. It'll be awkward, no? <laughs> yeah. Date with Danushtan. Yeah. That's funny, actually. That's actually, nice. Actually, yeah. And my first name is Savio. You know what that sounds like though, right? Savio. An 80s porn star. Savio. I really didn't know the 80s had Savio porn stars. You should know, because we are from the 80s, right? Right. I don't know about you, but I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <come on. laughs> wait, 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 wait. No, late 80s. I'm sure, I'm sure. We, we'll, we'll, we'll pick that up later. We are not <laughs> discussing age here. Yeah, we are not. not I'm today. going to find this video on YouTube and get copies of their birth certificate and keep commenting. <laughs> Let's do it. My birth certificate is in Tamil. Uh, you can't read, no? I can. Oh, really? All right. So Fahad, you do, uh, you also do lots of things. Like uh, we, all three of us are doing lots of things. No, yeah. hard man, hard to pay bills. It's the, <laughs> oh, if I can stay down Dickens Road, also I'll be there. <laughs> you mean you I, go back to that career? Yeah, actually. <laughs> <laughs> But they have renamed it. No, it's a bit hard for me to say it now. So tell me, um, tell me about you. What? How did you end up uh, doing all what you do? Really, I, Why are you positive? Let's. I'm start. not positive. That's a terrible thing to say in the times of Corona. But you know, I'm just a general. Uh, no, you're a very positive person. You're forever trying to see the good in everything. That is not true. I'm but that's to, what you say online. That is not what I say. Okay. Like I'm, I say I'm trying to keep things real. I'm not one of those toxically positive people. Like right. you know, everything's great. Look on the bright side. I think that's. Oh, I, I should think start that's, watching your videos again. Yeah, you should. <laughs> I'm sorry because I thought it was always positive. No, I it's just, not. <laughs> You have lost a view all this time. No, it is. It isn't always positive because I think if you're always positive, then you're cheating <laughs> yourself, right? I, I don't think we can do that. I think we need to keep <laughs> real. Now there's so many words for us to like kind of be because you know we would like to keep it a bit more sensible. Look Sorry. at Asanga. He has put his media uh, media face on. You have to also do that, okay? <laughs> okay? It's been a while since I left the media. Oh, yes. 
So, um, all right. So, tell me about this. You you do motivational speech. I don't. Uh, you don't. I don't. What do you do then? That's a terrible uh -huh. thing to say to someone. That, like, imagine motivation. So pretentious, right? So, you don't do I'm not a motivational okay. speaker. You're a life coach. No. Then I'm what are life. you? I'll tell you. Ah, tell me. Instead of motivational speaking, I challenge perspectives. Right. Instead of life coach, I'm a transformative coach. It's completely different because motivational speakers are like, eh, in your face, but perspective changes are like, what if this is instead of this? And transformative coaches are not like, you know, I'm a coach you on your life. Because I haven't lived your life, how am I supposed to coach you on your life? It's like saying, you are dark or you are black. It's the same thing, right? No, it isn't. What are you trying to say? <laughs> Why are you all looking at <laughs> me? <laughs> I am this pillow. No, please. I, I have nothing. I, I, Dude, I mean, come on. No, I didn't say anything to him. <laughs> you are so bad. <laughs> this I, is what this no. is what you are made of. You know, you no. twist people's words. I did. Let's get into a break. He's a transformative coach. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See what I did there? Yeah. Let's get into a break. We'll see you on the other side. In conversation with Fahad Farooq and Asanka Sabadu. <laughs> so, Asanka, you mm. do radio every single day. Uh, you... Five days a week. Okay, I consider those are the days. That's because true, yeah. Saturday, Sunday, yeah. leisure, no, mostly. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, five <laughs> days of the week. You know, uh, as someone who was in radio for a long time, mm. I gave up on the morning show because, you know, you can't do anything tonight thinking that you have to wake up. But your yeah. show starts at 7 o'clock, no? It does. But yet, you have to still wake up early. Yes. And also, you have this whole feeling that worry in your head that you won't wake up on that time. Is true. That is it's true. a very time sensitive thing. Yeah. So, whether you like it or not, you have to you show have up to for the show. Yeah. So, that kind of plays a. That bit it, of a it really weighs heavy on your shoulder. It is. Correct. It is. And because it's I used to wake up at 4 30, like whatever you do, yeah. when others are saying, hey, why don't you say one hour more? Yeah. yeah? You're like, no, <laughs> because you only have those few hours of sleep. True. Sure. Yeah. So apart from that, I think everything is fine. Then again, waking up early, you will get used day. to it. And you start your day early. I mean, I love starting my day early now because... But taking a day off is a bit of a tricky thing, like planning a long trip or... You'd be surprised. I actually don't like taking days off, oh. of work. Okay, okay. Because it's such, such a short period of time. Again, I get to wake up. Again, I get to do something that I like. And then your job is done. Well, you I have people like you. Look at this solid human being. Put me in parliament, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, apart from the jokes, I mean, I think it's, it's such a wonderful profession where you can um, bring the news to the people, you can change people's minds, you can finally convince them to go and get the jab and not be on a list, mm. you know. Fahad, you stopped working. You stopped reporting to people. You wanted to be your own boss. It was a career decision that you made. How has it been going? Amazing, but I don't think it's for everybody. I think that uh, like you need to have a certain amount of discipline to make that work. But I think that everybody should have at least one side hustle because I mean, you know, like you said earlier, you got to pay bills, and it's great when you are. You because have... we want to live lavishly, you know. That is true. You know, I mean, how can you blame people for wanting what they want, right? Yeah, yeah. definitely. It's definitely, hundred percent. Like so af after today, I definitely want uh, an orange suit, and there are two ways to get it, Asanka. Wow, I know. One way is not going to work, but the <laughs> other way might. <laughs> anyway, we get into a segment called Hot Seat. All right, so it's time that we ask questions and you have to answer. Hey, the, that is like forcing people to do things is... Bahad. That's also not right, okay. Matsa. Yeah. It's, not, it's not a date, then it's more like a threat. Aha! It's a date, right? right? Can we start with you? Okay. Can you shut, shut up? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Threatening By people? the way, just so that you know, I've known them for a longer time, and especially Fahad I've known from school days, so uh, you might think that I'm being rude to him. He's always rude. Uh, all right, so Asanka, here we go. If not for Dominic, who would you prefer as your co-host? <laughs> I knew you'd ask that. Fahad or Danu? Uh, it's his show. Go for it. Yeah, I think, well, the decision is originally not up to me, but I would actually pick Fahad. Okay. Because I wouldn't put you through waking up early, no matter. 
Thank you. You have so much to do. Nicely done. Lasith Malinga, Naveen Disanayaka, Harsha De Silva. Who would you prefer to host a show with? Lasit Malinga. If you had to wake up as a woman one day, whose body would you prefer to be in? Please. The options? Yes. Otara. Okay. Pavitra Vanyarachi, Roseanne Dias, Christina Pires. Oh my God, how do I decide this? It's tough. And not for the reasons that you think, right? Yeah, it's, it's tough not to for the home. reasons that you think it's... Uh, yeah, just think, okay. who would you like to wake up as? Christina. If I was a woman, right? That was the question, right? If I want. If you wake up one yeah. day as a woman, yeah. Yeah. you'd rather be Christina. Yeah. Pires, okay. Sorry, all, all the apologize. others. Yeah. Yeah, to me. Yeah. Pavitra is already not feeling so well. Yeah. Your man crush. My man crush has to be Timo. Hmm? Timo. Uh, uh, Sri Lankan Timo. Yeah. If you could be a fly on the wall, whose wall would you like to be on? <laughs> the Pages, the Hydramanis, the Rajapaksas, the Sangakaras. The Sangakaras. Okay. Then I can finally know what goes into the chicken curry. All right, like that. You are an advertisement watching boy, no? <laughs> okay, Fahad. Your favorite co host on stage, Stephanie Sirivardana, Sharon Mascarakras. I can't say her name. Mascarinius. Mascarinius. Are those my two options? Yes. Well, he only gets two. That's, that's bad. That's yeah. bad. Uh, both of no, them for different kinds of One events. answer. That's it. I don't want your theory. But they're both my friends. Just say one name. I didn't have the they two friends, names. no? I they don't have the two names. No, no. They're, they're your friends, no? Yeah. So they'll understand. So choose one. No, like they it's won't. like. <laughs> no, they won't. <laughs> so choose one. Why okay, can you tell you me can... what type of event? Like there are like no, press no, conference, no, dinner dances, award Listen, ceremonies. I'm asking sales a question. You're not supposed to answer. You are dead. <laughs> Just answer one. Who would? Who do you prefer? Who that, do I prefer? Uh, who is your? Who do you have the best chemistry with? Who do you prefer the most? The, you're making it worse now. What? That's the truth. Um. I, I, I'm, no, this is a bad date and uh, <laughs> I, I, I want, I plead silence. No, tell me. We are not moving on from the show until you answer. Really? R really? From those two, in no particular order, do me a favor, just pick a finger. Yeah, this one. That's Stephanie. Stephanie, I knew that. I, no, 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 no but I, I said I, anyway, you, I know you said it before this break as well. That's my God. <laughs> Your corporate trainer you admire, a corporate trainer who you admire, Kumar De Silva, Nayana Kalranat. I have never seen either of them do corporate training, so I don't know. I've never seen them do corporate training. Okay, who do you prefer out of the two then? I've, uh, so to be honest with you, I'll tell you how I, how I, how I know both. So I only know Nayana from the uh, little uh, thing she writes for the papers. I think it's female etiquette or something. And I know Kumar from Bonsoir. So I, I guess Kumar, because you know, that's who I know more. If stuck on a deserted island, who would you rather be with and who would you not like to be with? Options are, and you have to tell me why, why you would like to and why you will not. Gaya Kodithuakul, Powerlifting Kodi, Rosa Senanayaka, Otara. So do, do I pick two to be with and two no, to... one to be with, one to not be with. I'll be with Gaya because she and I have great conversations, no questions. Uh, what were the last two names? Rosie and Otara. Uh, Rosie, because I don't really know her. Rank them according to your beliefs and principles. Father, mother, God, sibling, pet, friend, partner. Dude, first I remember that. It's a long list. Father, mother, God, That's siblings, like pet, friend, partner. <sighs> okay, so... Father, mother, God, siblings, pet, friend, partner. Well, definitely God is last because I'm atheist. Uh, so that's one, that one's gone. Did I lose a lot of, a lot of fans? <laughs> okay. Um, what was that? That is if you had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know. There are fans that, 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 that you haven't occupied, Danu. Please. <laughs> this is a terrible day. <laughs> terrible. Terrible Sorry. list again. Now that you have put that's God seven, last, you ah, have that's the other why. options. Did I hurt mother, you father, sibling, pet, friend, partner. Uh, uh, friend, so I'm going from the top, huh? mm. uh, friend. friend, partner, siblings, parents, pet. 
a local TV show you always love watching? <laughs> what? Uh, like, give me your list of shows. <laughs> no, I'm just asking you what you think. Yeah, about all the show. things with Danu. This is a trick question. That is, of course, <laughs> any, of course question, any show question. that you like. No, he crapped on me so far, I feel that this is my chance to, like, you know, get him to pay the bill at the end of this date. So, <laughs> uh, date with Danu, Danu Takian, Danu Ekvinadi Dahayak Patne, all the trrr. So, you simply just watch all my shows? I do. Thank you. On that note, let's get into a break. Uh, <laughs> ah, no, we are not getting into a break. Are you? Oh, from where did this come? Okay, let's update your status. So while they're updating their status, I wanted to ask Fahad, your job is very streamlined. Like you have a very, it's, it's a planned thing that you sort of, help organizations, individuals achieve through your workshops. Uh, have you ever worried over the fact that, you know, sustaining this might be hard? I think the sustaining comes from two parts. Like, uh, number one, can I still be fresh? Can I still be, like, unique and new with all the new people coming into the market? That doesn't worry me because I'm constantly, uh, that's a bit cocky, I know, but I'm constantly trying to, you know, push and do new things. That's not the first thing you have said that's cocky for the day, but it's okay. <laughs> It's a date. <laughs> um, but in terms of uh, like external things, there's, there's like stuff we can't control. And I guess that's common to everything. And we've got to find a way to balance it. Like, for example, it's not the best way, but workshops have moved to online things. I mean, it's not the best, but it's happening in some way or form. Mm. So I guess that, you know, it, it is happening in a sense. Do you also feel that uh, the market is being cluttered with people who are not exactly on the same level in providing the same solution? You know, I used to think like that. Now that you don't even call yourself a motivational trainer, I'm not. and also not even, what do you call that? A life coach. No, I'm not. I'm, not. I'm neither of those things. Yeah. Um, I used to, but then that's such a great opportunity, I think, to find a way to differentiate yourself. And then so people like see a CEO of life coaches and they like see a transformative coach, like, hey, who, who's this guy? Uh, kind but of I can understand a life coach. Like, yeah, I know really when you read it, you're like, ah, life coach. Mm. And then you but stop there though, right? Yeah, I don't need transformative one. coach. There is at least a small semblance of curiosity. Yeah, that is true. And then you've got to, your, your marketing needs to be good enough to capitalize on that. Okay. So far, so good? Amazing. That's amazing. So I told you positive. positive it's a very yeah. positive person. Very positive. Very positive. Very positive. Very positive. Very positive. I'm a real I, I told you to update. You said you are now at a rate. No, I'm trying to up update. Like this a lot, sorry, of, sorry, lot sorry. of other things. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Um, so Apologize. now this. Uh, Doing a job, handling late events, mm. what's your, like, I am done day? That's a tough question. I've, I don't think I've ever thought of that. I don't think anybody should be done, I mean, for as long as you can work and provide and, and keep yourself happy, uh, you should be doing that. Otherwise, you're going to be a very sad person, looking at other people, always comparing yourself to them and, you know, basically trying to be one of those old uncles or aunties who are very bitter with life. Do you ever compete with anyone? Are you, are you I think everybody should compete with everybody uh, on a professional level. But there are certain uh, situations where you just simply can't compare two people in the same trade. Their upbringing is different. Their education is different. Their experience is different. So how would one be better than someone else? It's, it's not good to compare, but Yes, compete, you have to. Okay. Uh, how That's do you... All. What? I thought you were going to ask more questions. Okay, okay, fine. Continue, continue. Right. Uh, how do you take up <laughs> negative comments? Uh, I don't think... Okay, find me anyone... Anyone who has taken it positively. Who has taken it positively. But Bahad has. Really? No, do uh, I no, hate I negative comments. Sorry. <laughs> who likes negative comments? Because as a transformative coach, couldn't you yeah, transform? No, 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 no. Wait. Uh, saying nobody likes it, but you can transform how you're going to interpret and use ah, it. Right, yeah, right, right, that's yeah. true. That's it's tough different. to handle negative comments, I must say. I mean, I, I've seen this since 2010 when I've uploaded my very first song on YouTube. But it also grooms you and changes you as a person to have thick skin. Mm. Because when, when you're out there as a public figure and you're depending on the public to give you views to, you know, come for your events and smile and take pictures and all of that, 
you are part and parcel depending on what they have to say whether it's good or bad so you have to accept it and you have on. to accept it all right let's get into a break on the other side we have more coming your way it's a day to die it's time to play a game do you hear what i say And we are back. It's time to play a game. Look at how enthusiastic these people are. Dude, we, we, it's not like we are being terrorized or anything. Yeah. No, but so now you have come with a new policy that I am like, who? Ellen. Uh, Ellen. Not for the skills of presenting or anything. Yeah. You all think I am what? Toxic. Toxic. Brittany was singing about you. <laughs> no, no, we made an off-air joke about how uh, they say it. This date could have been a lot more, yeah, more friendly. Uh, let's let's put I it that friendly with no, no, I'm bad joking. Yeah, that's what. Yeah. Fahad, nobody's going to take what you're saying seriously anymore. <laughs> you're a transforming coach, no? No way, wait, wait. <laughs> transformative. Ah, transformative. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Just use one big word to alternate with uh, motivation. motivational speaker. Yeah. Done. <laughs> All right, so shall we get on with this game? Okay. Uh, I'm going to let, um, because you have nicer hair, we'll start with you. <laughs> Thanks. Sorry. I don't see his skull, that's what I meant. Wait, wait, wait. It's a terrible song. Uh, that's true, but it's okay. It's not for the music, no, we're doing it for the competition. Can you hear what I'm saying? Can you hear what, what I'm saying? Does it mean that you can hear? Hang on, can I take this up? What am I supposed to do? No, you're you, ah, I'm supposed yes. to say something right. and you're supposed to guess what it okay. is. But you have less than 30 seconds because they'll blow the whistle on you. Right, okay. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Won't be the first time, right? <laughs> blow the whistle. <laughs> right? Are you ready? Okay. Uh, sing, 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 mother, sing. Pat can sing. Pat sing to mother. What? <laughs> That's like really hard. Guess it. Sing, 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 mother, sing. Pat, sing to mother. Pat can sing to mother. Bananas. All I got was bananas. <laughs> bananas? No, but I, I mean, look at him and like, you That's know. That's the whole point. I don't want you to make it easy. What? Sing, 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 mother, sing. Pat can sing. Pat, sing to mother. My shoes? My what? My God, this boy has not read Radiant Way, no. Uh, sing, sing, <laughs> sing, sing, mother, sing. Pat can sing. My Pat last. Sing. My, my. My what? No, not profanity on this show, please. <laughs> sing, 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 mother, sing. Pat, sing to mother. Pat can sing to mother. Sorry, man. I, I really can't figure it out. I really can't. What is it? Have you read the Radiant Way? Ah, yes. Sing, sing, sing. Sing, mother, mother sing. Ah. ah. Now done. Again, again, no, again. <laughs> <laughs> Sure, you know how to pull a bar, you know? There you go. Transform. I'm more, I'm more, I'm more on a, like a... Tell you very much. Why did you pick the radiant way? Say, but you don't know the radiant No, way. I know the radiant way. Put it properly. You have... What? I'm a transformative coach. And I like to do public speaking. I'm a transformative coach and I like to do public speaking. You pick the easiest... <laughs> Am I done? 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 Give me a hard one. I'll tell you how I got it though. Just no, no. public speaking and the rest I, yeah. I filled in. Public speaking was... Public pub speaking speak was very easy. easy. He can actually read lips as well. Yeah. Please. But I, sing, 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 sing. Mother, I sing, don't... Can, uh, sing, uh, dude, that sounded like an Eminem rap, man. Yeah. Like, I mean, but like it was like... Woohoo! <laughs> I usually Jaya listen to people yeah. so... But right, I'm going to say, uh, Fahad, you won. Damn it. Uh, because it was, uh, I don't think it was easy. I just feel that you're sharp and you're cunning. People should be careful next to you. Can we just stop at sharp? Uh, sorry. <laughs> oh, God. I should not be so. So, anyway, let's come back to talking with you and talk about lots of things. Um, now, in this world of things to do on stage, do you all feel that people respect it enough when they recruit you all for a job in terms of comparing? Because both of you do shows. Would you like to take this? Knock yourself up. Um, I think the majority of the clients do. They understand that this is also an acceptable profession. Mm. This is not hired help of, you know, uh, some sorts. But then there are again times where that understanding is not there and, you know, 
Like, what are the worst things that happen? Like, let's say you have been called to come here an event. Do they, like, give you a seating? Do they give you a place to at least stand? Yeah, I mean, those things, I, I think, is part and parcel of the job. Certain events are at maximum capacity, so, you know, they really can't fit you inside the same ballroom. So, once you're done with your announcements, you can always go back have a separate room for yourself and sit down and wait. That sounds too fancy. A separate uh, area a separate for yourself. Separate area. Mm -hmm. um, yes. But one of the worst things that have happened to me is when uh, I was hosting a press conference and in that press conference there was a minister present. Uh, there was also... Did you act as him on stage for... No, uh, no, no, no. It's long before. Ah, okay. Um, there was a two minute silence that we had to observe for people who have passed away for some, some reason. Because we have had many occasions like that, we can't keep tabs, yeah. So, I announced it, I was looking at my watch, it was about a minute and a half and he said, May, Ati, 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 Deng, Ati. So, I was like, dude, I was shell-shocked, you know. I couldn't, I couldn't even host after that, I was like, so embarrassed. And Did you like wait the third or less No, <laughs> I think, okay, let's proceed with the with today's agenda, ladies and gentlemen. What about Minister, please take a seat. It's terrible, oh, wow. You said please, yeah. that's nice of you, but that's fine. That should be right. No, end of the day, yeah. we use these words. Please, thank you, <laughs> sorry. These three we use, although I'm sorry, you don't. But it uh, has happened. Yeah. So please tell me, Fahad, <laughs> what yes, are the challenge, uh, challenges that you have faced? I think that I've been lucky that most of the clients I've worked with have been like super nice, accommodating, and they respect the profession and stuff like that. But you know, sometimes you have these one-off clients and they're looking for... That's what I'm asking about. And, you know, and, yeah. and, but the worst thing that has probably happened is like, you go for that pre-meeting and then they make you wait, uh, mm. assuming that all you do is host, a, but like we have other, st other things to do, right? And once I waited for an hour, for a meeting to get started and I just I got up and left and they were like, hey, we're paying you, you're supposed to stay. I was like, hold on, you're paying me as a professional for a professional service, you're not paying me to wait for an hour. Uh, and then what did they do? No, I left. Did they give you the gig? Uh, no, I, I mean, I said I didn't want it. So, yeah. Right, okay. You are actually much more kinder, but something that I've learned, like I used to host a lot of events before, mm. And something that I learned is when you do like dinner dances and things like that, when they tell you to go and stand on a, sit on a stool somewhere in a corner, not that I don't like to sit on a stool in the corner, but I just feel like without the person who is sitting on the stool, the dinner dance can be boring. You have to sort of keep everyone active, you have mm. to keep the sponsors happy, so you have a lot to do as well. So now I just make sure that we send a request saying if you don't provide these, you'll have to find somebody else. Yeah. Have you all thought of that option? Uh, I think, I mean, most of the, most of the clients that I work with, again, they're um, kind to you. All of these things are set in place. Uh, it would also help if you have someone who is close to you who is recommending you yeah. to that event so that you know it works I, better. You can iron out all of these things because to a client who is completely um, not in the entertainment industry and when you go and tell them look these guys want a place to stay, they want their separate food, the band wants uh, a separate table, they also want the drinks served, you also have to have the table decor. That might surprise them because they don't know. So. Again, some intermediary like an person. event manager person is needed. should communicate Create that, that, which has happened many yeah. a times. I mean, it's, it's really their it. job and duty. All right. Let's get into a break. We'll see you on the other side. Anya Asanka, you have like really like toned down. Can you like... Okay, let's, yeah. let's do it. Okay. All right. We'll see you after the break. Right. <laughs> So we have this segment called Sticky C2. Sticky C2. Uh, Asanka. Yes. I have to think differently, you know, now. Why? I'm just. Okay, all right. <laughs> 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 Do you like working with Dominic? Yes, I do. Is it fun? It's a lot of fun. It's like you all have drama. Uh, you all disagree. Anybody? I mean, if we don't disagree on one thing, it's not Just normal. No, very weird. No, very weird. No. Have you all had fights? Oh, we've had few. Have not all, fights. It's just you know, it's. Have you all done a show? Angry, angry at each other? No, never. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know, you have to ask him also. Ah, that, that's yeah. also true. Yeah. But I'm just asking from your <laughs> side. Inside he must be wanting to kill him. Yeah. <laughs> but no, no. you all have 
friends, generally know. friends like. Because it shows, it reflects on it. Definitely, 100%, yeah. 100%. I also wanted to ask you because you are also working with Dominic and Dominic was such a huge part of the franchise, Puss Vedil. And Puss, yes. P beyond Puss having a great theatre, um, theatrical presence mm. and also full house for decades of days, they also had issues as uh, there was drama within the drama. Mm. Uh, were you part of the drama? I don't think I was part of the drama, but I but was... But were you viewing the drama from the outside eating popcorns? Uh, well, there are certain things that you should get involved in and you shouldn't get involved in. Um, Did you have to take sides? I didn't have to take sides. I think we all made a collective decision at that time, whoever was part of the decision making process. But I think it has come to a point where people understood, you know, they all have to compromise and work things out, keep the franchise alive. Because at the end of the day... Do you have a favourite puss? Do I have a favourite puss? No, I don't think so. It's like, it's completely two different people playing the same role completely different ways. Was the cast upset with all the mm, prominent faces that left? Uh, I don't know how to answer that question. I mean, I've never asked them about that. Ask in the next rehearsal. I'll please. ask, yeah. And come back to the show come and tell me. Sure. We'll yeah. insert that as a different yeah. segment. But uh, actu actually, uh, Pussy's, I think, is the only play that has paid. Of course, I we used to get mm. paid by Indu Dharma Sena a little yeah. bit, which was amazing. And it was yeah. always great to know that appreciation of fuel, time, apart from the things that we ah. learn wonderfully on theatre. Mm. But this actually paid like it was yeah i mean it was one of the reasons why people like us invested uh, people time. like me we we invest a lot of time and um, for puss vedila you're talking a lot of rehearsals of course now when the cast when my fellow cast members are watching this they'll laugh and say ha you're never there for rehearsals but you're talking about you know uh, are you are not, you no, are I am. I am. It's just that you are one of those people who like throw. No, the no, no, no. And no. Back in the day, we didn't have a lot of time to spend because I was hosting events, I was doing radio, I was singing for a band, doing all of this, and doing pushwet. It was a little bit difficult. Yeah. So, but but excuses, you know, I don't fall for these things. I know. But uh, to answer your question, yes, it's super important to value people's time, whatever they do. Yeah. Like me, you know, I was here on time waiting for them to come. <laughs> yeah. I walked in with you, don't yeah, lie. That's yeah. Fine. yeah, But Fahad, you were early. No, I was early too. I told her. Yeah. I told that I was going to be here by 11.15. 11, I came at 10.45. 10.53, that's your problem actually, you're too early. But Why was I asked to come at 10.30? Uh, that's what would make up. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> it uh, took a lot longer, is it? Oh, but talking God. about but drama, <laughs> Fahad and I had a share of our drama. Fahad was not talking to me. There, yeah, 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 yeah no. Yeah. Yeah. After a lengthy text message I got. Mm. Did you miss me during that time? Fahad? Of course. Which is why I, you know. Sent me another lengthy message after that. I didn't. After a few days. No. You know, what put, you know what put me off though? Like when we had that argument, the like 60 calls I got back to back to back to back to back. Yeah, not 60. More like 11. I would say 11 calls. <laughs> yeah. And that's what put, put you off? No, I was like, dude. Ah, like, don't call me. Like, oh, okay, you wanted to be play bigger drama. No, okay. I was like... Have yeah. you ever had this kind of uh, fight with others? No. This? Never? You're extremely unique. Okay. Wow. And you didn't feel bad that you, like... Okay, we're not going to get into what happened before the argument, but I felt bad, uh, not about what happened, but I did feel bad that maybe I... Um, did Say it. forgive you sooner? Say it. Overreacted. You. 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 <laughs> but anyway, I must tell you one good thing about Fahad though. One good thing? Yeah, this is actually, because it also serves me in a good way. Uh, we went to Dubai and uh, I couldn't find anything to shop because it's so pricey when in Dubai things are like three times the price. Because they expect shakes to shop there, no? I was just like shaking my wallet. <laughs> There's nothing falling out of it. But later on, Fahad found this uh, place where they sold shoes mm. at a cheap price, man, just before the night we flew out. Okay. And then Fahad said these shoes, and he bought like six pairs, and I, as a human, bought 24. I'm also That's greedy lot, like that. Yeah. yeah, it was very cheap. Um, then after that, I didn't have luggage space, but Fahad was kind enough to act as my partner at the uh, oh, nice. foreign airport. Nice. And they said, and you're with? I said, him. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> was that a nice moment? It was one of the, like, see, 
I generally don't like carrying other people's stuff. Yeah, he said that a hundred yeah. times like, because he said I came with this one luggage. luggage. I'm going. <laughs> I'm going with the like same baggage. luggage. I don't like baggage. Yeah, because yeah. you know those things like where you're going. It, we were going for this uh, event, right? Which was two nights. It was a two night event, but I managed to pack everything, including two pairs of shoes, um, into this little. So it but was easy. But that is I was overweight when I was going as well. Yeah. And his luggage was overweight as well, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I didn't mind it. The well, end. there you go. Now you know. Yeah. But have you understood that I'm valuable in your life? Dude. Okay. Thanks. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> did, I, did I give the right answer? Uh, Never this mind. is take three of this, by the way. <laughs> Until we both come to a consensus of which version of this story is going out so this is take 3 and i'm not sure let's get into one word we'll see you after this <laughs>so there's no right or wrong answers you'll have to quickly answer that's how the game works whoever clocks in the highest amount of answers will win what i knew you'll ask that a gift. Okay, excellent. Yeah. All right, let's do it. it dude, do it. you're just accepting a gift? We'll share he it might spit in your face. <laughs> 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 we don't know. Thanks, Asan. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Ready? Ready. Set. Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings? Lord of the Rings. Go watch a play or musical? Musical. Why did you take time to answer the first one? No, I just wanted to know what he wants. Ah, okay. Go to the theatre or movie? Theatre. Movie. Wear jeans or shorts? Jeans. Shorts. Go hike Wait, a bike. How are you, how are you keeping track of this now? Yeah. It's in my brain. <laughs> okay, so, right. so who has more now? Uh, you. Correct. Hike or bike? Hike. hike. Go watch comedy or dance? Comedy. comedy. Comedy, comedy. Have a night out or evening in? Evening, evening in. Watch TV or read a book? Watch TV. TV. Read a book? Please. Like, what See your plane. Plane. Play sport or watch sport? Play sport. Dog or cat? Dog. Dog. I have to say it's a tie. So no gift. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. That's I, sad. I, I'm, I, I already, I already that's got sad. No, but give me what you promised. Or I, I, like there were in the beginning, in the red box. Yeah, those I'll give. Uh, so there are separate gifts. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Dano. No. Thoughtful of you. But I have to now hold that back. I'll use it for the other show. Let's get into a break. So I did some digging to see what's on their Facebook. So what's on their Facebook? Did some digging and picture number one. Wow. What the hell, man? <laughs> Sorry. That isn't me. <laughs> That's you. That isn't me. When was this? Where is that I defined like, chiseled I li jawline? I like it? how the halo is on your hair. Yeah. That That's a beautiful me. photograph. That isn't me. That you, isn't me. You have the same birthmark on your nose. Dude, even he has a birthmark. That isn't me. Tell me, so where? It was from uh, when, you know, I was just... Okay. You know, terrible person. Oh my God! I'll tell you ah. <laughs> That's, that was I'm the first selfie that, I ever took, though. Yeah. You know, I, I'll really? tell you. Yeah. I was fat. I had long hair tied at the back of my head, and uh, I had gone in for an exam at the BMICH, and I didn't know the answers. And I had my phone, and I took a picture. You couldn't Google the answer. No, it was not one of those phones. It didn't ah. have internet connection, but it had a camera. The camera, like one of those, right? Yeah. Okay, got you, got you, got you, got you. You know at least three people there. So tell me about them. This was where that's uh, Kevin Joseph, Gandhi Serum. Charles Jesdas and Kim Martinstein and I uh, went on a trip. And I think you just pulled it up because you weren't invited. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, yeah. That is so not cool, right? He gets like decent pictures. <laughs> That's because he only has decent pictures. On Thanks, Marang, yeah. Did, uh, he actually doesn't have anything. Did uh, you ask him for those pictures? 
<laughs> no, 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 no. This was um, uh, myself and Dom hosting uh, an event for a perfume brand. And what happened to you? No, we had a we had a theatrical th experience. This was a skit where we uh, acted out certain certain situation. Okay, do I ha actually have to explain the picture on the right? Yeah, if you can. Uh, it looks like I have really long arms, but I don't. It's just the, the shirt was long. The shirt was long. Um, I'm standing next to someone who's not a part of my life anymore. So hence the crop. Right, right, right. Yeah. But, but on the left side, I think this was a dinner dance or something. Yeah, that, 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 that was As in not a part of my life. No, she's not dead, by the way. Yeah, true, true, true. You that was how you were in school, though, right? You had everybody some was calling you happy. That's, <laughs> that's, that's what you, were you had some tricky past yeah. relationships, no? <laughs> you would know. <laughs> yeah. I heard that you were locked in a room as well. <laughs> funny fellow. Funny, funny, anyway. Yeah. True. <laughs> no, <laughs> if you could only hear the off-air conversation about said uh, True. relationships and stuff. Uh, even before COVID-19 mm -hmm. came into action, Fahad Farooq took decisions to save himself. Why were you wearing a mask? Dude, it was a hostile working environment. And what is that statue on top of that cupboard? What it's is that? not a statue. What is it? It's a bike. No, I used picture. to work for a team building company and that's mm. a paintball mask and I was trialing it out to see if it fogs up. It's perfectly reasonable. Fair enough. Uh, are you dramatic? Are you asking me? No. Far. Compared to you? No. Dude, I was like donating blood. But what's with the hand? He <laughs> <laughs> had no. a bit of a fairy moment there. <laughs> hey, 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 don't be that's judgmental. Funny. I'm not. I'm that's just asking. funny, actually. Actually, as I was donating blood, I, 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 don't, I don't know, dude. Like, it was like, like 20 years ago. This is the time when he used to not talk to me. Ah. Yeah. Instead, he donated blood. <laughs> 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 no, it's just that I didn't know him so well from school time. So, hold on. Like, three decent pictures of Asanka. Ah. No, only two, no? Uh, two. Ah, one. Yeah. You but couldn't find pictures? Actually, all the pictures of Asanka Sahabandhu on his page and his profile consists of only pictures where he's dressed dapper and standing tall. I'm not ashamed of my past, so... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, there must be some bad I pictures couldn't here find again. Anything. Really? Actually, yeah? there was nothing. That's strange. You're actually very clean on your Facebook. Yeah. I don't like you're also very clean. You don't have anything I scandalous. I like how it's like you're very clean on your Facebook. Yeah. yeah. There was nothing scandalous. I think. There but thanks! There you yeah. go, guys. Yeah. But well done on that. But I really like this picture, though. Yeah, it's nice. That isn't me. <laughs> what was the phased matrix? Or? That isn't me. That isn't. <laughs> me. That is. Me. Sorry, I don't know why it's even in your profile picture collection. No, wh like which? Was it on Facebook? Yeah. It's on your profile picture collection. Are you serious? You mm. at one point made it your profile picture. Dude. That's a very, very sad, dark past. We have to go down. But anyway, thank you guys for being on the show. It has been amazing. Enough. You can follow their work. They are quite public with what they do, and it's amazing. You can be a part of uh, Fahad's training programs, whether they're corporate or a personal individual growth in your life. Um, Asanka Sahabandhu, for your next wedding, I'm telling you, he's definitely entertainment guaranteed. <laughs> um, and on that note, uh, Pete writes, we bid goodbye. Thank you very much, Dano. Thanks, Thanks for, for having, having us. Man. Have a good one. We'll see you soon with another cool episode today. Thank you.